Can you talk a little bit about um, smoothness and smooth acceleration rather than ra you know jerky type acceleration? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Well, we need Gavin for that. <laughs> <laughs> if you've seen June launch, it's so smooth and he looks effortless, but it's not because he's not going fast. It's because he starts slow and he accelerates smoothly. That's exactly what it thing. is. That's it. You just start slow. Uh, just, just like in golf or tennis, you know, they, people don't go like this. They go up, take their time, then go down. The same thing with this. You're setting up, right? And this is your basic position right here. You want to keep this position all, all throughout the whole thing. One, two, three, four. And I'm, and this thing is already try, starting to speed up. It's starting to, okay? Until you put all that the, the power into it. No need to jerk that, that plane around. It's, uh, it's actually inefficient. So you have almost a full circle where you're accelerating. Can you slow that down? And when do you start putting, when do you unload? Right here. Uh, one, two, three, four, right here. I'm unloading now. So 180 I'm degrees. Four. Yeah, once, once I'm here, I'm already starting to push. It's just a coiled spring. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like, like I said, this is where you want to be. Matter if you hop, <laughs> skip, or jump, just get here as as fully coiled as you can. Right here, full, full coil. And once you get here, you plant your feet. Don't don't move them around. Keep that coil Keep spinning, spinning. Even after you release that plane, you, you should still be touching this ground. Okay. That that'll keep that'll keep your coil keep from wasting your energy from all that stored energy in your body. Okay. Keep it there. Yeah. Keep it anchored. Cool? Yeah. Can you, can you go grab your plane and do a couple launches for it? Sure. <laughs> what was the question I just asked? What? What was the question I just asked? Uh, launching. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, the things I was going to have are a uh, normal saying is where to put any normal thing in your finger. It's kind of like a bow and arrow. You don't want it tucked back so far that it has a lot of distance to go. You want it right at the, the crease of the front knuckles, so you just release and it's gone. You don't want it to stick. You, yeah, nice you want it? You want it right in the in the in, right at the joint or out of? Yeah, the I have tip. mine kind of uh, biased toward the tip of the finger, but still in the joint. Okay. So um, most of it's toward the tip. I actually so it just see pops it. Out of your as long as you can let it. it go smoothly, right? That's it. Just, it's, 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 it's like releasing. Oh, uh, yeah, no, not yeah. any yeah. archery. It's like releasing yeah. string. You want it to be as smooth as possible so yeah. the arrow flies straight. Right, it, where's it the blade the right in your finger? Like all the way back to the joint or not? Like this. So, so that's kind of right in the middle? Yeah. Okay. Yes. And of course, so everybody the first... has their own little, yeah. you know, everybody has kind of their own feel for what they like. But not locked yeah. in the notch. It's, it's all in the comfort. Yeah. Don't put it in. Uh, Matt brought up a, a really good point about being in full coil. Um, one of the things he said is like when, you, when you're here, you want to be able to see tail of the plane, literally right here on your peripheral, uh, when you're in full coil, you'll, you'll be able to see it. Ah, uh, you'll see the rudder, you'll see the tail. I got another. Point, For me, it feels awkward to use those two. Does it matter? Is that a bad habit that I should break? Or does it matter that much? Comfort. It's up to you. Okay. Because as long as you can release it on time. So there's no drawback to the... No. Uh, I don't see any. <clears throat> I've, I've tried, you know, using the whole you know, as much as I can, like this, to this, doesn't really matter. Has he tried his, using your two middle fingers? Yeah, I'm saying the two middle. No, no. As I, I have more strength on the, with these two, yeah, I guess. That's, that's John has a really strong middle finger. He likes to <laughs> <laughs> You want to see? Yeah. <laughs> Give me a little demo, John. Yeah. Love you. Yeah, these things aren't even, even. You try to release at the same time. Because if you don't release, if this one releases first and this the thing, middle, middle finger stays, it can damage the tip. But June, to, to his point, these are, I, I launch with these two fingers. Mm -hmm. And if I look at my fingers, yeah, well, these two are closer to the same length than these two are. Mm -hmm. So for me, anyway, I mean, maybe I'm weird. Monkeys are different. There you go, John. Yeah. You're weird. Yeah. It's, it's closer to the same length. So for me, that I get a more even pull on the top end of the bottom. 
Yeah. You're awesome. <laughs> you're, you're John's new hero. <laughs> hey, Jeremy. Both hands have equal strength. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a personal thing. You know, it, it works differently for everyone. Whatever works, you know, as long as you're getting that plane up there. Um, Mike wanted a, a demo. You turned it on. Um, <laughs> this is my. Uh, Usual power when I'm launching. About 70, 75. I don't usually go harder than that. It really doesn't, it's not necessary, I think, anyway. Um, especially when you're sport flying. In competition, you can go a little harder. Um, doesn't look any different though. Do you think you're getting okay. all the control for your power input though using about 75%? That's yeah. If you throw harder, you don't get these diminishing returns. Exactly. It's 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 not as it doesn't feel as good for me when I'm putting too much power. Do you run the risk of yeah. being off balance by trying to overpower it? That's true. That's you know? very true. Yeah, exactly. And in competition, you know, feels like power. <laughs> You get really rough ground, you know, it's, um, and where I fly is really dusty dirt and rocks, so I guess that's uh, how I came up with my 75%. Mm -hmm. um, okay, um, you guys want to see another one? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. <coughs> Slow motion. Yeah, watch his acceleration and his smoothness. I think that's just helping my arm and I don't like it. Very it's gradual. It's, uh, I'll break down like for it, you. It just happened, basically, you know, when I was studying the, the launch. Ah. <laughs> Show off. Oh, he makes a He's done this down. before. Yeah. What did he do? I don't know. <laughs> uh, a little, a little practice tip. Launch high and fly low. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's it's one thing to. Be able to thermal up there at 300 feet. Anyone can stay up there at 300 feet. Nope. <laughs> 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 <Put> you there. <laughs> Any good pilot. Uh, can, come on, you guys. You guys can do it. You know, once you're once you're up there, it's easier to stay up there. Okay. Um, you can just like you want. <laughs> fly low, so you can see what the plane is doing. Okay. So you can you can feel the air around you. Um, and, and compare and validate it. For practice, this is what you're for practice. exactly yeah. for, for, for practice. Like this is what we learned in uh, yeah. uh, last weekend's yeah. <laughs> fun fly with Joe Wirtz. Um, I basically launch high and fly low. He launches low <laughs> and flies a lot lower, <laughs> and he's thermally, you know. And and he just basically goes out there, leaves the air, and does this thermals. Okay, that's one tip. I always tell everyone, launch high, fly low. Feel what's around you. Um, look at the plane. Uh, you'll learn a lot, a lot faster. It's, it's easier to, I guess, transfer, you know, how, how close the plane is. You can see the orientation even at, even, even at a distance. It's, it's easier, the plane is easier to read. Okay? Cool? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That is Thank you.